What's going on? Welcome to HDTV. You are now rocking with your boy. Now, the NFL is um facing a huge problem. And the problem is, is that they really haven't done a great job in warranting the safety of the players or trying to make sure the players are safe and make sure that they have everything in order in case somebody does test positive. They're not even showing the um the cases of after they get tested, how long will it take? They're not telling the players anything. And this is brought by Clutch Points, Drew Brees, Russell Wilson, Todd Gurley, also J.J. Watt and others. They call out the league for player safety. So if you want to look at this story, it's on Clutch Points. The disparity between the NFL and the National Football League Player Association, which is the NFLPA, continues to widen as the season opener draws nearer. Multiple marquee players reacted with regards to the way the NFL is currently handling matters in light of the coronavirus pandemic. New Orleans Saints quarterback Drew Brees voiced out his disappointment on Twitter. We need football. We need sports, said Drew Brees. We need hope. The NFL's unwillingness to follow the recommendations of their own medical experts will prevent that. If the NFL doesn't do their part to keep players healthy, there is no football in 2020. It's that simple. Get it done. And he, of course, put that sign to the NFL. Seattle Seahawks quarterback Russell Wilson also added his opinion as well about the NFL's handling of the situation. I am concerned. My wife is pregnant and he does the at sign at the NFL. Training camp is about to start and there's still there's still no clear plan on players health and family safety. We want to play football, but we also want to protect our loved ones. Hashtag we want to play. The newly acquired Atlanta Falcons running back, Ty Gurley, also joined in on the conversation. You want to watch football this year. Us players need to remain healthy in order to make that happen. The at the NFL, he does that to he does that sign to the NFL, needs to do their part in order to bring football back safely in 2020. Hashtag we want to play. New Orleans Saints safety Malcolm Jenkins shows his support to his colleagues as well. It blows my mind that the NFL is unwilling to follow the recommendations of their own experts regarding player health and safety. If we want to have a full season this year, we need the NFL to listen to their experts. Hashtag we want to play. Saints wide out Michael Tom Thomas also echoed the sentiments of his fellow NFL players. If Adam Silver can respect the voices and protect his NBA players, why can't at NFL commission do the same? Listen to your players. Houston Texans defensive end recently posted an update on the latest development on Twitter. This is J.J. Watt, by the way. Once again, in the interest of keeping everyone, players and fans, as informed as possible, here is an updated list of what we as players know and don't know as the first group gets set to report to training camp tomorrow. We want to play. We want to be as safe as possible. The NFL can mandate that players show up to training camp regardless if any agreement has been reached between the NFL and NFLPA. We still have not been granted the full and proper training camp acclimation, period. Necessary is recommended by the medical and training staff. We still do not know if there will be daily testing, every other day testing, etc. We still do not know how a positive COVID test will be handled in regards to to others in close contact in the huddle, directly engage with, etc. A strong and fair opt-out clause for those at high risk or those with family members at high risk has still not been agreed upon. If players do not show up on time, they can be fined or considered in breach of contract, even if health and safety protocols have not been agreed upon, or IDER, which means infectious disease emergency response plans have been approved. We want to play. The matter is already considered serious when the league's brightest stars have come together to speak the same language. There are still a lot of uncertainties with the safety protocols of the league as some players are set to return to the field for training camp tomorrow. 
There will also been no revision in the schedule dates and the games will push through as planned. A full 16-game season is also expected to play out. According to the New York Times, corona cases in America have been spreading like wildfire with over 3.7 million positive cases and a death toll count of nearly 140,000 cases. A spike in these tallies would be expected once the NFL opens the season without setting definite safety protocols for the players and coaches to follow. An excited 2020 season is on the horizon, but the league might have to look into postponing the football festivities if it would do good for the best interests of everyone involved. Now, basically in this case, the NFL is not showing any, how do I say? They haven't shown any type of empathy or any type of showing. It's basically a dictatorship. Yeah, that's what the NFL is. You guys agreed to these terms when you did the player negotiations for the CBA. This is why guys like Shannon Sharp and guys have been telling you, see, this is the problem with the NFL. The NBA, they 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 not exonerated because I believe they're doing the same thing. It's just that they're putting more puff pieces together than the NFL. The NFL is just straight gutter. Like, look, this is how we're going to do it. This is the way it's going to be. Whereas the NBA is like, okay, you, you guys can choose and decide whether you want to play or not. But at the end of the day, you're not going to get paid. And if you, I mean, yeah, if you decide not to play in the NBA, you're going to not get paid. And the NFL... You won't get paid and you'll be fined. So you guys agreed to this. The CBA, you guys were so worried about getting your days off and smoking weed and all this that you guys have messed yourselves up when it comes to this. The NFL, you given them the power. You gave Roger Goodell the power in the last CBA, just like you're doing now. Now, I, I want them to be safe. I believe that the NFL and NBA should not come back this year. I believe they should come back next season when they have a better grasp on how to stop the play from happening. I don't agree with the NBA plan either. The NBA and the NFL should not be playing at all. Sports should be canceled. Yes, I understand the money situation. So I understand why these group why these sports are grouping together to carry out the game and play the game because money's involved. If money wasn't involved or that much money was involved, then I don't even believe they would be having a season. But the problem is you guys agreed to this. You guys, what do you expect? The NFL and the NBA is nothing but a slavery model. It's a systematic slavery, just like your regular job. If you work at UPS, FedEx, or any job out there, it is systematic slavery. Unless you own your own business, you run your own company, you will have to keep going through this. Now, I'm sorry that this is happening, but at the same time, you have players out there who's not making the money Michael Thomas or J.J. Watt is making. They're on minimum wage or they're getting paid below what they're worth in the NBA and NFL. You don't have anybody like LeBron or Chris Paul out here making money. There's guys out there who needs this check. But at the same time, you guys have not done anything to show empathy towards the safety of the players. And these players have families. If these players go back home to a, 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 a older, a older, um, I'm an older family member, or a younger family member. Me, I got to go to work every day. So I understand what they're going through. They could bring that back. My mother is elderly. I take care of my mother. She could mess around and catch something and it's over because her immune system. So I have to be extra precautious. I have to wash my hands all the time. I got to wash my face. I got to take showers, double, sometimes double in the day. So you have to, this here is, a big sign that this is going to be trouble. People are going to be positive. And we still don't know if there's, we, we haven't even tested everybody because a lot of people could be asymmetric where they don't show the signs, but they are carriers. They could just spread it, but they're fine. So I feel sorry for the way the NFL is handling this to the players. And I agree with the players. Yes, we need better we need a better communication system with the owners 
with the commissioner, but at the same time, you guys signed the CBA. You signed it. Yes, I, I agree with all of you guys. Y'all want to play, but you want it to be safe. These guys are going to go and play the season because the NFL has too much money on the line. Their TV money is worth more than the NBA because more people watch their games on TV than the NBA. The NBA, people don't watch it because LeBron James has basically killed the market. Like, they always promote him and people are tired of it. They're going to do the same thing to Zion Williamson. When he's going to be promoted, once LeBron's done, they're going to promote him heavily, promote him heavily, and then people are going to get tired of him. They're going to be like, man, we tired of this guy, man. We watch him too much. That's why the NFL is better than the NBA because they promote all their teams. But I went off track a little bit. But I agree with the players on this. I believe that the NFL needs to do a better job. But at the end of the day, it is nothing but systematic slavery. And you guys signed the deal for it to continue to happen. Instead of holding out, then if, instead of holding out, you guys just basically gave it to them so they won't test for marijuana and other drugs so you guys can get off. So I'm sorry. You guys have to bite the bullet. Law boy.